Hello everyone. So welcome to a very important video. In this video, I shall be discussing about the plus M and the minus M effects and about resonance. So watch this video very carefully because many of the concepts are used in the later organic chemistry also. So let me begin that how to solve such type of questions. So let us begin with the basic of resonance. So what is resonance? Delocalization of electrons is known as resonance. So these are some of the basic things. So what is, let me show you a simple example at how to do resonance actually. See this bond will go here, this bond goes here and this bond goes here. So basically this arrow is used for showing resonance and you can draw the structure of it to be this goes here, this comes here and this goes here. So we can draw the structure of this benzene to be also like this and hence in actual we take a net structure which is the combination of these two structures. So this is represented as like this because this bond is combined in a way so that all the electrons can be in delocalization. So what is the basic meaning of delocalization? If how delocalization is possible, let us see. If I have a conjugated system. Now what is the meaning of the conjugated system? means we have alternate double bonds. Let me take a simple example CH2 double bond CH, CH double bond CH2. Let me name the first carbon as one, a second carbon, third carbon. So you see that on the first and the third carbon there is a double bond. It means that on the alternate carbons we have a double bond. So this system, system is known as conjugated system. Second point, we have a lone pair in conjugation. Now let us see what is the meaning of lone pair in conjugation. Let us draw again this structure. So CH2 double bond CH, CH2 uh, OH. So let us decide that if this structure is in resonance or not. So name this one, two, three. Now what we actually see is that this is first and this is on the third, but on the third we don't have a, a double bond, a triple bond or any lone pair. But similarly if I draw on the OH here or NH2, see in OH actually tautomerization is possible and hence that will tautomerize. But in the case if I have a lone pair that is in conjugation, like a structure like this, benzene with the OH on it. See this lone pair is in conjugation, hence see one, let me name this carbon to be one. 2, 3. Where the double bond begins, name that carbon to be 1. So 1, 2, 3. We see that on the first and the third carbon, we have a lone pair in conjugation and hence these will be in resonance. Let me go to the third point which is presence of positive or negative charge in conjugation. Now what do we actually mean by it? If I take CH2 double bond CH, CH2 plus, okay. So you have to shift the electron density from the electron rich to the electron deficient. What actually happens is if I draw like this, then this is the wrong way. Although the answer will come to be a correct answer, but this is the wrong way because this is electron deficient. So the electron rich must supply the electrons to the compound. So what actually happens is CH2 double bond CH, CH2 plus this double bond goes here and the plus shifts to the back carbon to give me CH2 plus CH double bond CH2. So basically in resonance you have to see that there is no shift of any atom and the net atom should remain same along with the charges. So the charge is same, no atom has shifted, everything is same. So this is the correct answer. So you have to take the electron density from the electron rich to the electron deficient and not from the electron deficient to the electron rich. So this is the basic of resonance and how you have to perform the resonance. Now I go to the concept for which this video is being made that is plus M and the minus M effects. So let us proceed. Plus M minus M effects which are known as the mesomeric effects mesomeric or the resonance effects also denoted by plus r and minus r. So let us begin with a simple example and my trick to learn it. 
फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट सी द डेफिनेशन सो दैट वी आर एबल टू लर्न प्लस एम माइनस एम प्लस एम मीन्स दैट इट विद्रॉज एंड माइनस एम मीन्स दैट इट रिलीजेस ओके बट दिस इज नॉट द करेक्ट वे दिस इज नॉट राइट बिकॉज सम ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स गेट कंफ्यूज विद द प्लस आई एंड द माइनस आई वॉट एक्चुअली हैपन्स इज द प्लस एम इज द डोनर वन एंड द माइनस एम इज द विदड्रॉइंग वन सो वट इज विदड्रॉइंग एंड रिलीज मीन्स हेयर सी इफ यू हैव अ माइनस एम इट विदड्रॉज नाउ यू डोंट हैव टू सी द इलेक्ट्रो नेगेटिविटी हेयर रिमेंबर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इफ यू सी बाय द बेसिस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रो नेगेटिविटी देन इट विल रिजल्ट इन द इंडक्टिव इफेक्ट and it is not necessary that a compound which shows inductive effect will also show the mesomeric effect so if i have a negative charge just remember a simple thing if i say minus m negative charge if i say plus m then it means a positive charge okay this is the first point that i want to share positive and the negative charge i will discuss about it in details if i have negative charge then what i have to further remember is that it must have a vacant orbital just two points i'll ask you to learn in this entire thing okay and in the case of plus m it must have lone pair the inductive effect depends upon the electronegativity but plus m minus m does not depends on the electronegativity rather it depends only on these two points let me show you a simple example on how to proceed in it example simplest example taken is phenol okay so this is the electron rich oxygen the lone pair goes here shifts here so to give me uh, double bond o plus the negative comes here the negative of the lone pair comes here and i'll be getting this thing now this can further be in resonance to give me this thing double bond o plus h minus and you can draw the further structures so basically what i mean the positive and the negative charges you draw a particular resonance structure for the compound and see that it has a negative charge in resonance it has a positive charge in resonance so it has a positive charge it means it will be showing plus m effect if this thing has a negative charge so it will be showing minus m effect as simple as that so this is the basic logic that you have to learn that how to solve the particular type of questions so what i see in this thing is that oh group will show me plus m effect why see i have already told you if I, if it has to show a plus m effect it must have a lone pair it has got a lone pair and hence it will be showing plus m effect now see the benzene negative charge goes on the benzene and hence it will be showing minus m effect okay let's go to the next example now i'll show you that every group we cannot generalize it now why i am saying that let us see in this example if i take any aldehyde or let me take aldehyde only for present we can take any acid also so on drawing it resonance structures i see that i'll be getting C, double bond c o minus h and plus will come here okay so this will be the resonance structure for this now we can do the resonance further to give this thing so plus comes here double bond co minus h now what we actually see is you can take any resonance structure all will be the same if i see i divide it into two groups that is the basic group that i am taking above and the lower group that i am taking below so this is showing a negative charge so what does it mean it will be showing minus m effect it is showing a positive charge it will be showing plus m effect so this is how you decide that if a group shows minus m effect or if a group shows plus m effect now what important point i want to share here is that in the previous example i saw that the benzene was showing minus m effect but in this case benzene is showing plus m effect so what i recommend actually here is that don't learn anything in organic chemistry because it will not help you in any way so just go by the logics 
no resonance very well it will help in the aromatic hydrocarbons video also you will see that so just know how to solve a question through resonance in this case so let me take one more example uh, let me take example of acrolein so if i have ch2 double bond ch coh so let us draw the resonance structures for it how to draw see this is the electron rich this goes here and this goes on the oxygen so what i'll be getting ch2 plus ch double bond c o minus h this will be the compound that i'll be getting now what what if i say that this goes here this goes here on the carbon to give me further ch2 minus uh, ch double bond c o plus h now i'm asking that why does this thing does not happen now this is so because the positive charge is on the more electronegative compound that is more electronegative element that is oxygen here and hence this compound will be unstable so this compound is more stable because the uh, more electronegative atom has the negative charge now what i actually see is i can divide this compound into two groups that is this thing and this one now in the resonance structure we see that this has a positive charge this has a negative charge so what it means that it will be showing me minus m effect and this will be showing plus m effect so this is a simple thing so let me go to the next example which is regarding carbo cation let me take carbo anion actually ch2 minus okay so what i want to show here is my third point which is that resonance can also be shown by the compounds which have lone pair or negative charge or a positive charge so i'm taking a negative charge so this goes on the ring to give me double bond ch2 minus this thing so this can go here and further resonance can happen now what actually i see here is that the ring will be showing me minus m effect let me take carbocation so ch2 plus i can draw it further to give me double bond ch2 plus this thing so what i'll be seeing here that the ring is showing in this case is minus m in this case plus m okay so this is how you have to do such type of questions okay now very interesting question i ask you i have SO2H that is benzene and a SO2H group is attached. Now I ask you that what effect is shown by this group plus M or minus M means I am dealing only in resonance so plus M or minus M. So let us decide. Now no need to solve. Let us see by my two points that we have to see by the help of the lone pair or by the help of the vacant orbital. So sulfur has a lone pair. We all know that. So it has a lone pair and hence it will be showing me what effect it can give so it will it means that it will be showing plus some effect now it has vacant orbital also it is a three it, it comes under the third period and hence the third period elements have the 3d vacant orbitals so this has a 3d vacant orbital so it means it can show minus m also so in resonance you will be seeing that so it is a homework that draw the resonance structure of this compound you will be seeing that the sulfur can gain positive charge also and negative charge also so this is the case so i'll recommend to draw the resonance structures and get some uh, practice in resonance because definitely some of the questions are asked in j advance regarding it and the plus m and minus m effects are very important so if this video helps you then kindly comment and leave a like so let me know that if there are any doubts so i can help you further and best of luck